What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another digital marketing tip video. In today's tip video, I will be talking about how to add structured data to your website. So one of the most important factors for search engine optimization includes adding structured data to your web pages. Structured data can help improve click-through rates to your website, generate rich results to take up more digital real estate from your competitors, and it helps Google better understand the content on your website, which can lead to improved keyword rankings. So this video will dive into what structured data is, um, how it can help your SEO, and how to add it to your website. So structured data, otherwise known as schema markup, is a type of code that allows search engines to better understand the content on your website. Schema markup allows search engines to determine the relationship between your content and how it should rank for a given query. While it's not required to rank for SEO, without it, search engines have uh, to work harder to figure out what data on your web page means. So here's an example of what schema markup might look like uh, for your web page. And there are different kinds of structured data ranging from RDFA, microdata, or JSON LD. This is an example of JSON LD, which is the preferred schema markup language type um, that Google uses to create rich results for your web page. So, um, beyond the different types of schema markup, I'll dive right into how to add it to your website. So, the first option is to utilize different WordPress plugins. Uh, so, if you're not technically savvy or don't have access to your website's code, then you can use WordPress plugins um, as one option for adding schema to your website. I wrote about a few different options on my, uh, my article on how to add schema markup to your page, um, but a few examples are like all-in-one schema rich snippets, uh, Yoast, or snip WordPress plugin. The second option is to utilize structured data highlighter tool in Google Search Console. So, Google Data Highlighter is a legacy tool in Google Search Console that allows you to create data sets to automatically mark up contents of similar articles within your schema. So the one downside using this tool is that you're limited in the types of markup that you can use. Uh, so if you click on this type of information to highlight drop down, you only have nine or 10 different kinds of markup. But for a quick run through as to how to use it, you will click, uh, let's say you wanted to mark up your page for article schema. You can either choose to tag this page and others like it, or just tag this page. So you'll click OK based on the URL that you enter into the tool. And then it'll give you a list of data items that you should include in the sidebar here. So you'll basically just highlight and then click on the designation, so title. You'll click on author, date published, and then the other recommended or recommended autofills for uh, this tool. And then once you're done, you'll simply publish, and that will uh, be a pretty simple and quick way to add schema markup to your site via the data highlighter tool. And the final option is to add schema markup manually to your site header, which is the preferred option for schema markup. So if you have a WordPress website, it's actually really simple to do so. You will just install this head, insert headers and footers plugin by WP Beginner for your WordPress, WordPress page. And once you've installed the plugin, then you will have the ability to insert schema markup code uh, via script to the header of your web page or your website. So after inserting your desired schema markup, then you will simply update or publish the page. And then you will take the URL for that web page and plug it into Google Structured Data Testing Tool to ensure that there are no errors or warnings associated with the markup you just added to your website. You can also use Google's rich results testing tool to see what your schema markup will look like 
if it is eligible for a rich result so you can further improve the click-through rate and generate more organic clicks to your website. So beyond WordPress, there are some other methods involved for in, uh, adding schema markup to your website. If you're like using Blogger, Wix, Shopify, Squarespace, Weebly, for a more in-depth guide for that, I would recommend checking out the URL in the description box below. Um, it points to one of my articles where I wrote about the different ways to add C markup to other CMSs outside of WordPress um, that will help you to include structured data to those websites. So hope you found this helpful. Um, if you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like for the video, and I will see you all for the next digital marketing tip video. Have a great day.